Okay guys, today we're taking a look at how to check a drive for bad sectors. This is quite a popular video and I wanted to go through and show you some of the things you can do if you think your drive is going bad. So first off, I see so many people that have got SSD and they don't actually have the software installed on their system. If you install the software for that SSD from the manufacturer's website, it will give you a lot of information about the drive that you're using. It will tell you if there's any firmware updates available. It will tell you the health of that drive. It will basically break it all down and tell you whether there's any errors or whether there's any warnings on that drive. And it will give you a good indication that the drive is starting to fail or whether it's just got some sort of corruption and needs to be fixed. You can see here the drive is in good health and it will tell you the wear indicator and also the spare blocks. So it will give you a good indication. You can also use other software like this one here called Dashboard from Western Digital. If you've got a hard drive, you can check your hard drive and you can check the model number, the drive health, and also the security to see whether it's frozen. And this will give you information. You can see drive health is in the green and it just gives you some idea of the overall health of that drive. You can see also the temperature down there, the minimum and maximum, and it just gives you some other shortcuts here. So it's quite a useful little bit of software to find out some information about your drive very quickly. Now, normally if this was in the red or something like that, you would normally know that you've got problems. There is also some other things in here like the performance and you've got the optimization in here. And there's also the trim command here. If you've got other drives that is recognized and it will allow you to run that here. You can also see here we've got tools. If you look at the tools area here, it will give you some tools that you can use. For instance, you've got the erase drive here. If you want to erase the drive and reinstall uh, something, you've got smart readout. You've got some additional information. You also can set up your settings for dark mode here and start up settings whether you want the dashboard to start up with Windows and a bunch of other stuff. Other software which is free is called Disk Genius. This will also allow you to check the drive as well to verify whether you have bad sectors. And you can select the drive and you can then just run this piece of software. Let me show you exactly how this works. So let's select the disk and we're going to run it on this disk here. And what we're going to do is uh, do a start verify here. We're not going to run any repairs and I don't want to do anything like that because obviously that will take some time and I know the drive's in good working order. But if you look down the right hand side, you can see excellent, good, normal, general, poor and severe and damaged. If you're getting any damaged uh, marks coming up and they're deep red that means you've got bad sectors on that drive and it will try to repair them and move them to the bad sector uh, section of the drive uh, which will be at the end of the drive so it will mark those as unreadable so you don't so it will just skip over those it will never use them again now normally the drive will have a, a designated area for just a certain amount of bad sectors to be on the drive so it can mark them uh, but again, if you start seeing bad sectors on the drive, it's now time to start thinking about changing that drive. Some people may argue that with me and say they will continue to use the drive with one bad sector. Me, myself, as soon as I start seeing bad uh, sectors on a drive, the drive is going to be backed up and then replaced. I don't like to see like loads of bad sectors showing up on a drive here. Another one is C Seagate C Tools. This is another one that gives you the health of the drive here. It gives you some... Uh, information here about the free space, the life, the terabytes written, which is very useful, and also the status on here. You can do a quick test as well, and this will be a short self testing that we're doing on the drive, and it will run this across the whole drive here. You can do this on other ones as well, like the hard disk here. So Seagate uh, does some pretty good tools for hard drives and SSDs. Now, if you don't want to use any software at all, you can do check disk inside command prompt. Let me show you quickly how to do that, and I'll show you how to get this up and running. So basically type CMD in search and run the command prompt as administrator here. And this will open up the command prompt box where we can run our command. So let's go ahead and do this right here. So from the here, we need to write out this command, chk, dsk, and you can then do space and the drive that you want to do the check on. So we're going to do the C drive here, space forward slash F, and then run this on the PC. It will say this type of file system is NTFS, and it cannot uh, lock the current drive. 
and basically you will need to reboot the computer for it to do a full check on that drive. So let's do a restart here and it will then run the checks on that drive. Now this may take some time, so be patient. Now if you have an idea that your drive is failing, you should always back up your data immediately before you run any extensive tests on that drive because it can put more wear and tear on the drive and you don't want the drive failing during the test when you should have been trying to get your data off. It's important that you always back up your data as soon as you know the drive could be failing or you have a suspicion the drive is failing. Uh, always back up your data. And if you're not backing up your data on a regular basis, then you're crazy. You should be backing up your data on a regular basis using the 321 backup method. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use here. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again. Bye for now. <laughs>